Hey everyone! Okay, this tutorial is for users who have never used Pico 8 before and have no idea how to make music and sound effects. I'm going to give a quick overview of what everything means and an introduction to how to start creating your own sound effects and making music. So I just opened up Pico 8, I'm going to hit escape, and I'm going to click on this tab here, and we see nothing. Um, this is the SFX editor, so let's use the mouse, click and draw something here, and we press space for playback. So on the x-axis is time, and the y-axis is pitch, and each of these lines represents one note, and you have 32 notes. And each of these notes have a value for volume, which is displayed down here. So here's like a minimum volume, maximum volume, or you can draw on whatever you want. Or you can drag it down to zero or click in the lower part of the box to delete notes. Up here is the SFX number. Right now we're working on SFX zero but we have 64 of these to play with and I can left click on these arrows to increase and decrease this number. So this is SFX01 and we can store more information here. So you'll hear that it's going along the x-axis much slower. Uh, this is because the speed box has a higher value. Higher numbers means the SFX is played slower and I can right click and left click in this box to make speed values higher and lower. These pictures here are all your instruments and represent different waveforms. Uh, the names are displayed in the bottom left. So right now we're working with instrument zero, the triangle wave, and I can shift click every one of these waveforms to change every note in our SFX. You'll hear the difference right away. I can also select an instrument and then draw in more no more notes with that instrument. And here you can loop different sections of the SFX, uh, and this is visualized pretty clearly. Okay, let's, uh, I don't know, let's do a really quick sound effect. Uh, how about like a jump sound? So a jump sound is going to be like a, like a whoop. Well, so it's going to need to be faster. Maybe not that fast. And maybe the volume goes up with it. Maybe it needs to be a little bit lower. Uh, maybe the volume goes in a different direction. Maybe it needs a different instrument. Maybe just a little bit higher. Oh, that sounds pretty cool. Okay, so now I'm gonna hit tab and we've changed from pitch mode to tracker mode. You can also hit these buttons up here to make that same switch. So tracker mode is another way to visualize all this information in pitch mode. So we've got eight notes in our jump effect sound and those eight notes are now displayed on these eight rows. So here are our 32 notes displayed as rows, and we can use the mouse to click and move the cursor. We can use the mouse to click and drag to highlight selections. We can hold down shift to edit the selection. Uh, we can take some of these rows, uh, copy, paste, and we can do this with the arrow keys too. So I'm just using the arrow keys to navigate around, holding down shift, copy, paste. So the first column here displays pitch, and this column is octave. And you can input notes using your computer keyboard. Your computer keyboard is gonna be like a piano keyboard. Uh, so an easy way to find the C major scale in Pico 8 is by typing all of the keys on the rows Z to M. So Z is C. And then from Q to I, Q is the C in octave above. 
So let's uh, increase the speed to make it slower. So these are all the white notes on the piano, and all the black notes are starting from the rows S and 2. Now if you want to input notes in a higher octave, then you can just click up here, and when you input the C major scale, it'll be higher. There we go. You can also move the cursor to the octave column and input the range manually. So let's just push one to lower everything down a few octaves. There we go, and everything's lower, or again, higher. You can see that visualized up here. Okay, let's move everything back down to one. Uh, these red numbers in this column are the instruments, and you can see that if I shift click up here that all those values change. I can also move the cursor to the column and input them manually. Uh, the blue numbers represent volume, so I can shift click up here to change the volume. Or again, I can move the cursor to that column and input them manually. And you can see that little wavy thing visualized down here. Uh, the last column is the effects column. I have tutorials covering every one of these effects, so I won't talk about them here, but you can assign a different effect to each row, and those are these guys right here. So we have the slide effect, vibrato, drop, fade in, fade out, fast arpeggio, and slow arpeggio. And that's tracker mode. Uh, if you're making sound effects, uh, pitch mode is useful for getting a general shape of your sound, and then you can use tracker mode to refine it. One last thing about the SFX editor, this button here uh, opens up the instrument editor. Uh, the instrument editor isn't really a topic for beginners, so don't worry about it for now, uh, but I do have some tutorials on how to use it, and I'll put the link in the description below. When it comes to making music, we need to use the music editor, and that's this tab up here. Uh, the music editor lets us play more than one SFX at a time. So here's our beautiful composition on SFX01 here, so we can change the values by right-clicking and left-clicking here. So what you're hearing is all of this information here is now being displayed vertically. All these 32 rows are stacked on top of each other. And we can use these other three channels for other SFX. And we can change these to whatever values we want. We haven't input anything in SFX 02, 03, or 04 yet. That's uh, why it's all blank. So let's, um, let's compose something. I'll try to write something really quickly in like a minute. So let's go back to the SFX editor. And we're going to compose our music in SFX 01, 02, and 03. And we want to make sure all of our speed values are the same. Uh, we want to make sure these SFX are all starting and ending at the same time. So generally music is written between speeds 12 and 24. So let's choose, I don't know, let's choose uh, 15. So we'll make sure that all of these have a speed value of 15. Now in pitch mode, if I hold command and draw, all of the notes will snap to a C minor pentatonic scale. I believe it's control click on PC. So let's draw something in here. I don't know, like something, something wavy. Maybe something a little, just slightly lower. And then in tracker mode, let's add an effect. Let's say fade in. 
Okay, now something in the bass, maybe some long notes. So holding down command and clicking and dragging. And let's add a, a fade out effect. And let's uh, make something um, a little bit more high, um, like uh, something a little bit more melodic. So let's um, con control click something up here, some longer notes, some wavy notes, short notes, maybe a different instrument. Now let's go in here and add some vibrato, maybe a slide effect. And so this is going to be like our melody. So uh, let's make it a little bit quieter. And let's uh, do like a second phrase, a second melodic phrase. So we'll make sure it's speed 15. And we've got the right instrument selected. So let's do like a second melodic phrase. And again, we'll just add some vibrato and some slide effects. Okay, now let's listen. So here we've got it in pattern 00, and this is going to play all of these SFX simultaneously from row 1 to row 32. And then it stops because pattern 01 is empty. So let's add in these SFX again, except we want the second melodic phrase. So we're going to change this to SFX 04. And it stops. And we can uh, make it stop. Like when you're writing music for a game, you might have different tracks that are starting here. So maybe you want this to stop here. Here, these are the loop controls. So what you can also do is you can get pattern 01 to loop. Or you can get pattern 01 to loop back to pattern 00. So when you have a back arrow on a pattern, the music will go back and look for the first forward arrow. So if I turn a back arrow on, say, pattern 04, and start my music at pattern 02, the music will play 02, 03, 04, and then look behind for the first forward arrow, which is pattern 0. Then it'll play pattern 0 and pattern 1, where there's another back arrow, and it'll loop back again to pattern 0. So, and that's your loop, pattern zero and pattern one. And there's your introduction to making music in Pico 8. Uh, this is a very deep program with lots of expression. I have a ton of tutorials that cover different aspects of making music and sound, from making drum beats, bass lines, developing compositions, music theory, hotkeys, flow tips. Um, I'll put some links in the description for the tutorials that might be best for beginners. And hopefully there's enough here to help you get started. But if there's something you'd like me to cover in a tutorial, leave a comment below and I'll see what I can do. Thanks for watching. See ya.